Hello everyone, welcome to this session. We are excited to share that SQL Tuning Advisor is now available in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. This can be used for Oracle databases in the Oracle Cloud and on-premises. SQL Tuning usually implies fixing performance problems. However, tuning should be part of the life cycle of an application through analysis, design, coding, and also part of regular maintenance stages and maintenance schedules. Here is a short video that covers the SQL Tuning Advisor feature in the database management service. An important facet of database system performance tuning is the tuning of SQL statements. SQL tuning involves three basic steps. Identifying high load or top SQL statements that are responsible for a large share of application workload and system resources by reviewing past SQL execution history from the system. One best way to identify high load or top SQL statements is using the ASH analytics feature in the performance hub, which is again provided by the database management service. The next thing is to verify the execution plans produced by the query optimizer for statements that perform reasonably well, or maybe that might not be performing well. Again, you could use the SQL monitoring feature in Performance Hub to verify the execution plans produced by the query optimizer. If there is a SQL that you find or identify, which is suboptimal in nature, which you could find from the Ash Analytics or the SQL monitoring tab, you need to implement corrective actions to generate better execution plans for poorly performing SQL statements. And this is where the SQL Tuning Advisor comes handy. You can launch the SQL Tuning Advisor in the context of Performance Hub. After analyzing the SQL statements, the SQL Tuning Advisor publishes various recommendations. Specifically, SQL Tuning Advisor produces the following type of output. Advice on optimizing the execution plan, the rationale for the proposed optimization, estimated performance benefit, and also the SQL statement to implement the advice. You could get recommendations in the form of creating a SQL profile, gather missing or stale statistics, modifying the access structures, so on and so forth. And with that, it is now time for a short demo to demonstrate this feature in the OCI database management service. All right, I am in the database fleet summary page looking at uh, the fleet of databases that I have. I see that the manufacturing database is today behaving in a different way. I see a lot of average active sessions compared to the normal way that I would see. And I want to drill down and see what's happening within this particular database. I can click on manufacturing. And now I see clearly there is a pattern mismatch here. So for the last 60 minutes, I do see a lot of weights, which are not the regular pattern as compared to the normal. Like Now I want to drill down to understand what's happening within the database. I can launch Performance Hub. Now, like we said, SQL tuning involves finding the problem SQL and then identifying a corrective action to fix that particular problem. Now, within this section, you would see that uh, there are IO spikes in between, and that's not the regular pattern that I would see. So I would see that there are IOs that are happening, and that's not a regular pattern that I see. And if I scroll down, I would see that there is a SQL that is performing a lot of IO. And this is not a pattern that I generally see in my database. I want to drill down and see what's happening within this particular SQL. I can drill down. If I want to know if there is a corrective action that can be performed on this particular SQL, I can launch the SQL Tuning Advisor by clicking on Tune SQL, wherein I could highlight this particular row and then click on Tune SQL. This launches the SQL Tuning Advisor, wherein I can give it a task definition, Tune MFG, and I can give the same description here. And the task parameters, the total time limit in minutes, I would go for five. And I want to do a comprehensive tuning because it gives me more power. So I would also give the time limit per SQL statement as five minutes. I have only one SQL statement to tune, but I would make it uh, the same here. 
and I would give the credential names here. I could use the customer manage secret if I want to. I'm using the password for this particular schema. Now let's go ahead and run SQL Tuning Advisor for this particular SQL. When I click on run, it launches the SQL Tuning Advisor task for this statement. And I would be able to see that a SQL Tuning task was submitted to the SQL Tuning Advisor. And I can see the reports under the SQL Tuning Tasks section. So I could click on SQL Tuning Advisor and I would see that the Tune MFG is in executing state. I already had completed a run previous day to tune one of my SQL, but now I'm actually interested in tuning a SQL that appeared suddenly and it is performing a lot of IO. Now let's wait for the completion of this task. All right, we can see that the advisor task is now completed. It took around four minutes. What this means is that we are giving more time to the optimizer to come up with an alternative plan so that we can get best recommendation to avoid a suboptimal plan. Let's look into the details by clicking on the tune MFG. Now the SQL tuning advisor came back with a summary, which tells us that it found a SQL profile and it also gives you the benefit for SQL profile recommendations. This is the DB time impact before the SQL profile. And this is the DB time impact after the SQL profile has been implemented. You can click on SQL findings. And here you would see that this is the SQL that got tuned. And you would see there is a recommendation in the form of SQL profile. You could also get recommendations in the form of statistics, index, restructure, SQL, or alternative plan. If I select this SQL, I would be able to see that SQL profile recommendation, which means that a potentially better execution plan was found for the statement and the impact or the benefit is 61%. So I would be able to implement the SQL profile recommendation. I can just click on implement all SQL profile recommendations and go through this implementation phase as well. So I'm not going through the details about the implementation phase, but if you were to actually analyze this with your development team and see if this is a potential plan, you could actually very well do that and you could analyze the uh, findings with your development team as well. Now, if you were to understand more about this new recommendation, you can always compare explain plans to understand before you actually implement this strategy. So you would see that the elapsed time in terms of SQL profile and also the CPU time impact and also the user IO time impact. So you would see that new plan with SQL profile with fully executed would have a better elapsed time and a better CPU time. And also you would do the same in terms of other statistics like uh, buffer gets. And based on that, you could take a call or maybe go to the explain plan section and compare the explain plan before SQL profile as well as after SQL profile. You would be able to see the impact of the SQL profile implementation. This concludes this video about SQL Tuning Advisor for tuning Oracle databases which are deployed either on-premises or on Oracle Cloud databases. Thank you for watching.